What is up amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of the Mighty Weasel. And on the Terry Crews scale of mightiness, the Weasel clocks in at 16.7. This is obviously not as great as Rosie O'Donnell, who comes in at 17.4 on the Mighty scale, but obviously more than the RS, which comes in at 16.3. So the mighty weasel here, we have a pretty cool aerodynamic situation going on. We have five cut planes downstream. The first cut plane is pretty cool because you can see at the top, the two little ears that formed the wake. Then around the rest of the body, you get a fairly circular pattern. Then when you go to the second plane and third planes, now you get the tail kind of overriding the wake that we had from the head and the two little ears. And the it is making its own kind of wake, which comes up quite a lot. And the wake is not really that unsteady. Like you can see that it does wiggle around a little bit, but it's not that violent, which indicates that there's probably not a lot of three-dimensional flow coming off of it. But let's look at other planes to see how this goes. Now we have a Z plane, which is going straight through the weasel's legs. And this actually agrees quite well with something that I was discussing with one of you amigos, Rolando Tillett, which is, if there's one thing that we've kind of covered with this um, CFD series is that legs in general are not very aerodynamic. And we can see the same thing here where we have four legs. The underbody is completely clear of this wake, of, the, of this Y plane, the Z plane, sorry. But we still get quite a big wake and it blows out quite a lot. So wakes in, ge in general are not um, great when we come to the legs, like the legs produce a pretty big wake and that's not what we like. So we need to figure out how to make legs more aerodynamic. I don't know how, maybe use like you know, airfoil sections on them or something, I don't know. But also the wake here in the downstream of the weasel, we can see that it's not very three-dimensional as we thought with the X-planes. So you can see how straight it is. There's not a lot of um, like vorticity coming off. These vortices like spinning up is quite straight and it breaks down quite quickly. And speaking of vorticity, I wanted to see what the vorticity was coming off of this thing. And so I plotted this in vorticity from pretty much zero to 79 one on seconds. And yeah, we don't really see too many coherent vortices. There's a lot of tiny little vorticity around like these little blobs here and there, but no real big vortices coming off. So that indicates that this squirrel at this, sorry, this weasel, not a squirrel. Weasels are more mighty than squirrels, by the way. Squirrels come in at actually 14.3 on the Terry Crews mightiness scale. So anyway, back to these vortices. We can see that at this Z plane, this weasel does not um, produce much vorticity. Now we have another Z plane going up a little bit more now, and it's actually going through the weasel's body. And this wake is quite interesting because if you look just behind the weasel, there are like these two little parts which show yellow. So that's a bit of a fast moving flow there. I'm not sure why these occur. Then when you go downstream a little bit more, you get this significantly consistent um, yellow patch coming through as well. It me meanders around a little bit, but it is almost always there. So this wake is quite interesting. What's more, we have an entire weasel here, so the entire body. And if you were to compare this to the wake that we just saw from the legs, the wake is smaller here. So these four legs, which had a lot of air clean flow between them, a lot of air between them, like free space, it made a bigger wake than when you have a weasel with a solid body. Now we have that exact same plane with the sub drag plotted. And I've been trying to figure out why we get these two little parts behind. Here we see that as well. We see that the, there are two regions here which have like a green area instead of yellow. So that's uh, behind the weasel. So that indicates that there's less drag there. And it's a mystery. I've been trying to figure this out. And then maybe this is the secret to the weasel's mightiness. Maybe no, that's why no one can figure it out. These two little artifacts here are its secret. Now we have a Z plane that goes straight through the weasel's head and tail. And this is pretty cool. You see the tail, it produces pretty much a quite a crisp von Kamm streak coming off of there. And that's interesting because the wake from the head doesn't seem to cancel out this von Kamm streak too much. And we do see this sometimes when we have two cylinders. So if you have two tandem cylinders, one upstream, one downstream, the upstream one sometimes can cancel out the downstream one's uh, von Kamm streak, but sometimes it doesn't depending on how far upstream it is and what the wake looks like coming from it. Here, fortunately, the von Kamm streak is still present despite the weasel's head the wake coming from that is impinging on it a little bit now we have a y plane going straight through the middle of the weasel and this was partly to see what the wake is doing here but also i wanted to really figure out why we have those two artifacts that i mentioned earlier and i still can't figure it out anyway it indicates that maybe some things we weren't meant to know but here we can see that the weight coming from the legs is far greater than from the head or the tail and i can tell you that the lift coefficient of this weasel is 0.15. So it could all even fly. And the drag coefficient is 0.84. So it's not that good, 
but the lift cushion is quite impressive and you can see also the extent of the weight coming from the head and that it does impinge on the tail quite well but still the, the weight from the tail does produce this volcometry that we like. So that's in this video. If you liked it, make sure to like it. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And if you have any other animals or rodents that you want to see CFD, let me know in the description in the comments below. And if you want to get better at CFD like this, check out our uh, courses in the description. And I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.